No laptop, no problem. Here's how to tune your Holly Terminator X with nothing but a Bluetooth module and your iPad. After recently installing the Holly Terminator X on my Fox body, I realized just how much easier tuning can be, especially if you have Holly's Bluetooth module and a wireless device. So in this video, I'll walk you through exactly how to set it up and how to use it to tune your car, no laptop required. Start by downloading the Holly Terminator X app and opening it up on your iPad or mobile device. Next, plug in the Bluetooth module into the CAN connector on your Terminator X harness. Make sure the ignition is off during this step. Now, turn the key to the on position and the module powers up with a green light. Press the button to activate it and the Bluetooth signal becomes discoverable. Next, on the Terminator X app, tap pair with device and pair your device by selecting it from the list. Once connected, you'll see your wizard set up and depending on your state, you can choose this or not. So let's check out some of the cool features on this app. Okay, so let's get this started. Um, first, I have the app open on my iPad. Now we're going to pair device and searching for the device here. I'm gonna click what I have and it's connecting. Perfect. Now here's the point where you can set up your wizard if you want to, such as your throttle, or if you haven't set up your engine, you can do that as well. But we're going to bypass that because I've already connected everything. So what you have seen here is the opening screen that I left on, which is my uh, gauges. And you're seeing stall because basically there's no RPMs right now that it's reading. The engine's not on, it's not running. But uh, this is nice because this dashboard shows you a, a lot of sensors on here. And then you can actually switch a dashboard uh, interface just by clicking this to whatever type of dashboard you want. Whether, whether it's like nitrous or your transmission or um, let's see, idle. Anyways, but let's start in the very beginning. Let's go back to the settings on here. So we really want to go to um, device management which shows our Bluetooth is connected here. And then we can also go to our tunes, which I have a tune already loaded in here. And we can go to logs. If you start doing data logging, it'll have all your data logs in here. Um, very good stuff. Let's back up. Let's go to tunes. Cool. And then um, we can go to like our actual tunes that we have here. Now, I don't have other sensors set up, but if you have like nitrous and other sensors and things set up, they'll actually display here. But right now it's displaying the fuel, um, sensors, spark, idle, and system. If we go to system, this is where we can start at and show all the system settings for your engine. Um, this is like your ECU that we have set, um, in here, which is the Terminator X. And then we have the engine settings, which I have my 306. Um, my fuel, fuel type, injection type, wide beam, fuel pump prime, um, has my firing order, global timing limits, um, some other things like that, variable cam timing if you happen to have that, and then also uh, inputs and outputs uh, for your inputs and your outputs, which I was showing on my initial video. Um, I was putting the the pin number four for the idle air control on a pin output. I don't think you can do that on this system. I think you actually have to go into the laptop, the desktop software and do that, but this has a lot of settings on it. So let's talk about tuning. So say for instance, on my Ford here, I have an idle air control valve, which is a, <laughs> which is a beast on these cars. Uh, if you are using a Ford factory idle air control valve, um, there's a lot of settings you can do here. You can do like, your return to idle settings, such as your IEC hold, your ramp decay, um, IEC ramp start above idle. Also, um, startup sequences, which I have been messing with a lot because uh, I've been getting the hot starts to really fire up on time. So I have my IEC park position. As you can see here, this graph, it's showing 
um, how cold the engine temperature is all the way up to how hot it is. And then also the IAC settings of as those temperatures change, how the IAC changes as well. And here's a start hold up time. Um, I don't have it on any seconds of delay right now. Decay time as well. Um, IAC kick for a kick up. I have it at 20%. Um, my return to idle settings. Um, I have a ramp decay. I have a hold position of 14%. So there's a lot of good stuff in here. Let's check out fuel. So as far as fuel settings, um, you can go in here and do like your startup fuel. Again, I've been working with a lot of startup on this car. Um, we have our fuel prime enablement, enablement <laughs> um, fuel prime percentage. I only have it 48% because it doesn't take a lot uh, with the amount of ejector size and the longevity of that I have the fuel pump priming for. Um, but you have like your cranking fuel, uh, after start enrichment, after start hold off, there's some good stuff in here. So also we can look like our target air fuel ratios where we want to be at, um, target at idle, target at cruise, target at wide open throttle. A lot of good settings. Let's check out the actual idle, uh, basic idle. Uh, let's take it a second just to load. Uh, idle speed is 900 RPMs is what I have my set at, but you can ch change it anywhere you want. Um, target idle fuel air fuel ratio at a uh, idle is at 13.8 uh, ignition timing at idle 18 <laughs> so pretty good stuff here's some advanced sayings target idle speed versus coolant temp again there's a lot of good stuff you can change in here idle spark p term so yeah and then let's go to sensors real quick we have the map sensor which basically just Settings on what kind of sensors you're running. CTS, Holly CTS, some advanced settings, sensor offset if you want some different functionality there. Oil pressure, fuel pressure, and then other sensors as they get added to the to your, your system here. So yeah, there's a lot of good stuff. Now let's go into logging and you have your trigger enablements like your uh, trigger settings, your timer settings, uh, if you want to activate the trigger, timer enablement. Um, there's a lot of good stuff here. So all of your logging systems in here and then last but and then last but not least is the wizards and you have your um, Terminator X setup wizard and your TPS auto set which has to be done pretty much every time that you adjust the throttle body uh, butterfly you're going to, have to do a TPS auto set um, which I've been doing quite a bit and I'll explain that. So whenever my car is running Let's go to here. Let's go to idle and sensors, fuel flow. Let's go to my IEC position right now is showing 87.5%. As this car warms up and it gets to full temperature right now, the coolant temperature sensors register at 83 degrees. When that gets up to the normal operating temperature of around 180 degrees, this IEC position should be seeing around seven, maybe 10%. And it may fluctuate a little bit depending on your driving and, and such. But if that's, say for instance, zero, or if it's at 50, well, you need to go out and adjust your, your throttle body butterfly. Uh, maybe crack it open or shut it down a little bit until you get to that point. But every time you do that, you'll have to go back into your wizards and you'll need to do another TPS auto reset on it, which is pretty easy. It's just basically pushing the throttle down slowly and back on off of it um, two times in a row to where it can register the sensor. I'm going to go ahead and start up the car and just let you guys show. Okay, so connection drop because I shut it off. I'm going to reconnect now that the ignition's on and it's now reconnected. You can see the IAC position is sitting at 87.5, coolant temps at 83, and uh, battery's at 12.8. Ooh, oh, I should get the jumper on that maybe. And it's showing stall, but we're going to watch that change right now. right now it's running at about almost 1200 rpms going down as it cools up as it warms up it'll actually decrease down to 900 and this will decrease as well this will go down to about 10 to 15 ish is what i've been seeing 
and but it does show my TPS is 0.1, which means there may be just a little defluctuation in my sensor here. See, this is going down a little bit now. Starting to. 49, cool and sense 89. So as this goes up again, then I'll go down. Oil pressure's looking good. Battery looks great. Let's check out one more area. This is the fuel sensor graph. Air fuel ratio, cool and temp again, fuel flow, target air fuel ratio. It's looking really good. This is easily one of my favorite upgrades. No laptop, no cables, just real time tuning right from your iPad. Total game changer. So if you have a Terminator X system, you might want to think about getting one of these. Thanks for watching. If you like what you see, hit that subscribe button.